Preparing the Victory Backpack Sprayer is similar to the handheld, following many of the same steps. To begin with, you will need to remove the chemical container from the sprayer, using the latch at the top. When you are filling the reservoir, remember to pour only as much as you will need for the current spraying task, to avoid wasted chemicals. After securing the lid, reattach the chemical reservoir to the backpack sprayer, and secure the latch. To install the battery, open the compartment door at the front of the sprayer. Securely insert the battery, and then lock the compartment door. The sprayer is now ready to be put on your back. Make sure the straps are not twisted for maximum comfort, and to prevent wear and tear to the harness. As with the handheld model, the sprayer must now be primed. To begin with, you will need to turn on the power switch located on the left hand side of the sprayer. The green indicator lights on the back of the sprayer, will verify that the sprayer is powered on, and the current battery level. After the machine is powered on, simply squeeze the trigger to initiate the spray and prime the sprayer. The nozzle setting should always be set to red, 40 microns. The Victory Backpack Sprayer comes equipped with a detachable nozzle holster. As recommended, you should always keep the handle in this holster, unclipping it from the harness only while spraying with, or cleaning the machine. After making sure that the area to be sprayed has been vacated, you will begin spraying using a side-to-side, -side and up-and-down motion. Please maintain at least 3 or 4 feet of distance between the nozzle and all surfaces in the room. After completing the spraying, you should make sure that the room is kept unoccupied for at least 10 minutes. This is the dwell time for most disinfecting chemicals. Reattach the nozzle holster to the harness when you have finished spraying. After completing all of your spraying tasks, remove the reservoir from the sprayer and pour any remaining chemicals back into their original containers. Never store your sprayer with chemicals still inside the reservoir, as this will result in damage to the sprayer over time. Now that chemicals have been removed, fill the reservoir with warm water. Then, after reassembling the sprayer, spray using the warm water until the system has been cleared of all residual chemical. Remember to store the sprayer in a secure area to prevent damage.